I just, it's so good, and it's crazy to see where they're at now. Welcome all fellow wannabes, welcome to my channel. I am Gabriel Fast, I do claim to be the wannabe critic. Today we're reviewing the new Killers record, which is called Imploding the Mirage. The Las Vegas-based ensemble have returned with yet another incredibly theatrical experience with this new record. Now, I have to admit, I'm not the biggest Killers fan in the whole world. I mean, I'm not like a super fan. I like them. I went to go see them live with my wife on their uh, Wonderful Wonderful tour a few years ago. And I, I wasn't really crazy about that Wonderful Wonderful album, but I definitely understand why people would like that. Killers is just kind of hit and miss for me, but I love Hot Fuss. Talk about a killer debut album. See what I did there? It's so good, and it's interesting how, you know, this at this point, this, this record came out about a week ago, and I went back to listen to Hot Fuss to kind of compare the two to see where they were at then versus where they're at now, and the evolution of the Killers just makes so much sense, and it's just such a, a really cool journey to see. 16 years later. Now, I really did like this new Killers record. I think the theatrics are still heavily present as they are in all of the records. And I think Brandon Flowers really sold me as being a solid frontman in this record more than he ever has probably since Hot Fuss. Been seeing a lot of people make comparisons to Bruce Springsteen. I think Apple's write-up had something to say about it as well as... Uh, the Pitchfork had something to say about the Springsteen-isms, and I definitely can hear that. I think those qualities about the record are definitely there, and it's hard to say otherwise. But after about a week of listening to this, I find myself also hearing things like the Arcade Fire in this band. Which is really weird to, to think about, but it's kind of interesting how Brandon Flowers' vocals just kind of resonate in that same belty like reverberated way akin to something like Bruce Springsteen or even something like the Arcade Fire. Like the opening track for whatever reason really reminds me of Keep the Car Running by Arcade Fire. I don't know why, it's just a weird thing, you know, it's it's interesting. And I'm not even saying that the killers draw inspiration from that, but I think creatives are are somewhat kind of getting similar ideas and who's to say that they weren't inspired by one of those bands? Who knows? Just want just a little tidbit I wanted to throw in there. But as far as the record goes, it's really good. I mean, it's you're, it's 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 the classic Killers theatrics that everyone who loves the Killers is going to get on this album. I don't think that there's any like real key tracks that stand out, you know, being like like a Mr. Brightside or a When You Were Young. But that's okay. You don't have to be the biggest pop stars in the world to have a really really good record. I mean, it's 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 not like we're listening to the albums just for those just for those songs. There's some really good songs. The first four songs on this album to me are are really really good. That they're my it's my favorite part of the album. As it continues to kind of go on, it just kind of gets to be a little bit uh, more of the same. But those first four songs really grab you and really make you want to kind of stick around to the end of the album. All these guys are really talented musicians and you can tell that they really click together because they've been a group for so long. And that's always really encouraging to see whenever a band can do that. I didn't have a ton to say about this album. It was just, you know, it's been kind of, I've been kind of thinking about it for the past week or so. And, and I wanted to figure out the best way to kind of make my thoughts as concise as I possibly could to make this review. So there you have it. As far as the score goes, I think I'm going to give this album a 7.5. I think it's good. I do think you're going to listen to it a few times. I don't think this is going to be at the top of anyone's like best albums of 2020 list or anything like that. But I do think it's a solid listen to keeping your rotation for a while until you find something else. In the end, it's a great time. You should definitely check it out. Well, that's going to wrap up the review. If you liked what you see and you want to see more, definitely check out the other videos I have. There's going to be a video at the end of this video recommended to you to watch. Uh, that would mean a lot. If this is your first time to the channel, I just... 
maybe ask that you consider subscribing. I'm doing a lot of things on this channel, you know, and it's it's a lot of fun and I, I've been at it for almost a year now. I'm consistently learning new things and wanting to try new things. If you have a request for something for me to talk about, definitely drop it in the comments down below. So thank you for stopping by, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for preparing yourselves for a plethora of hot takes and potentially unpopular opinions. I am Gabriel Fast. I will always be the wannabe critic. Ah!